Hey everybody, Ann here, and guess what? I have got some big, big news. First of all, I made some apple fritters, and they are super delicious. So just pancake batter, all-in-one pancake batter. Um, some sugar and cinnamon added to it, chopped up apples, and basically deep fried. <laughs> Sprinkle with some sugar, and these are the last two. They've been sitting for a little bit, but they are so good. But I want to show you what the big news is. Well, does anything look different to you? It should. I got new property. Let's take a tour. This is the view looking down my drive. And you can see at the bottom of the drive, well, there's a culvert there that's blocked. And so there's a lot of standing water. And the soil is very, very wet with all the rain. So um, I'm still going to be able to get up this drive. I just have to go up into the grass and not go off into that direction. This lot is about five six miles, about five minutes away, you know, whatever, not very far from my other property. It's only 2.5 acres, but, oh, there's Betty. Um, I've got a lot of lumber that's already been chopped down, lots of space. My property goes from the road, well, way back there, um, all the way over to where it starts going up again, and all the way up here. There was a pre-made lawn <laughs> right there, so I pulled it over. Um, luckily, it's not real muddy down here. It's still all the clay soil, but there was plenty of grass still left on it. So, um, but I pulled this up just so that I wouldn't be stepping in a mud. And check this out. Look at my poor solar panels. They have shattered. Two of them have shattered, but they still charge just fine. So. There's another little crack in this one. That's okay. And check it out. I got my own shed. Haha. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, you know, shabby, but it's a surprisingly stable structure. So it's got a little door that opens. That chair. Whoops. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this blue tarp. I do not like the blue tarp. Got me a little chair in there. There's an old desk little work table, bunch of extra wood and whatnot. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. Maybe I can clean this out and make a chicken coop out of it. Who knows? Alrighty. Here is my junk pile that I get to get rid of. Fun, fun. Oh, look it. There's a drill. I bet you that doesn't work anymore. And a heater. Bet you that doesn't work anymore. Oops. Fan blade. Yay. <laughs> and over here, there's more junk. More wood with dangerous nails coming out of them. Um, another junk pile over here. These, I don't know, somebody could still use them. Um, an old tire that I'm going to use to plant in, which is good. Got to get rid of all this stuff, though. And it looks like they had like a little work table over here. I don't know if they cooked over here or what, but um, that deck over there is really, really unstable. But um, this table is relatively stable. I might be able to use it. Oh my goodness, a plate. <laughs> I only have one plate and a nice glass. I could use that. And uh, just an assortment of junk that I get to get rid of. Lucky me. Hooray. Yeah, so I don't know if I can use any of this siding for anything. What I'd like to do is build, oh look at this, insulated electrical wire. I'm sure I'll be able to use that someday. But um, yeah, this little shed has a little slope. I was thinking maybe I could build a water catchment system over the top of it, get a little gutter, and Make it go down this way and get a big tank. Put it over here. I don't know. That's a thought. But this is my new property. Um, from this angle, I'm sure that you can tell there is a lot more flat space. That other lot, there, it would have just taken too much work, too much money, too much time to get it rehabbed so I could get a structure on it and live on it. Um, I just couldn't do it. And plus, getting up and down that drive, whew, I'm still going to need gravel on my drive, but um, it's still going to be better because look at all this flat space I've got. 
Um, I'm going to show you a picture of the tiny house, the kind of tiny house that I want to get later. But there's more um, wood out there. I'm going to have to get rid of all that. I mean, just put it somewhere um, because a lot of it still has nails poking out of it. But my property goes basically, if you see those little yellow signs, posted, posted, um, basically goes to that right here, this tree line right here. Yep, and you can see a little marker there. So that is my property from here all the way over to there. More wood. I was looking at this, this big log, clear out this area and have fires, bonfires here. That's a natural seat. That's a lot of dang wood. Um, ooh. <laughs> looky, looky. Oh, they're all dead, but yay, mushrooms. Alrighty, so, whoop, gotta watch where I'm walking. There's plenty, there's lots of little drainage thingies. Um, this one's dry, but I'll show you another one that is not. And anything past those posted signs is not my property. So it comes down to that over here and all the way to that last orange ribbon thingy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks like at one time somebody tried to build a little like fence around this. I don't know, but it's all fallen down. I can still use the wood, that's for sure. Um, and more water coming through here. What would be cool is if I could find a spot that doesn't have all the green algae in it. What I do like is the ferns. The ferns that kind of line this bank. So hopefully quite a few of them will survive so that I can look at them because they're beautiful. Alrighty, so it kind of dries up a little bit over here and turns the corner. Let me get over here and see what it looks like. More pretty ferns. There's a ton of them. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, it kind of goes, looks like it goes kind of under the ground. It's not really flowing right here, so that's not all that great. But, yeah, this is still on my property. Um, it's going to be easier for me to rehab, and that's all there is to it. I have limited skills and limited money. So the fact that this one is already pretty flat is great. Um, the one thing that I have been doing since I got out here... Well, I got it Friday. Friday, kind of late afternoon. I just took a drive. I needed to go into Henderson, and this was on the way. And, um, <laughs> Betty's freaking out. Um, and I, pu I pulled up, and I told the guy I want it. And, all right, that's enough, Betty. And he said, that's great. Um, anything that I've paid from my old property, will be applied to here and it's actually forty dollars less a month so thank you west tennessee land guy <laughs> land man it's awesome and more wood God, i wonder if i can build like a chicken nesting box out of that i don't know if it's going to be wide enough and i got me a couple flat rocks here i can do something with you can cook on that rock that one on top so that's pretty cool um Let's look over here. Ah, okay, the water's moving a little bit more here. Not quite as much green. Um, Betty, stop it! But it's moving pretty well, and it looks pretty clear. Now, it's still going to have the clay in it. If I were to try and collect it in any way, um, of course, it would have to be filtered. And I've already shown that my water filter filters very well. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will be able to do something with this water. But I still want to build a water catchment system. Alright. Let's go over here. 
a little bit more depth here, which is good. Yeah, so this is all mine. So I don't know if my property goes over to those orange, huh, you know, the, the orange tag over there. And then there's another orange tag off in the distance over there. I'm just really not sure. But anyway, so I've been looking at the property, how the sun rises and how it falls. Um, and of course, it's going to be much more shaded in the summertime. Um, but I've been looking where the sunny spots are. And of course, well, the sunny spots are right in this general area. So this might be good to use for planting. Um, and the sun rises from, you know, over that direction and comes this way. But this area right here stays pretty, pretty sunny. But anyhow, um, so when I get the tiny house, I want to put it in a place that isn't going to take up all the sun. So I'm thinking having it right in this area where it's naturally shaded a lot of the day. Um, or I can just have it like where the van is, maybe. But I want my patio to be looking off into this distance. I want to be able to be looking this way. I don't want to have my front porch facing the road. I know that's weird, but I might have to do it that way because if I'm going to put my solar panels on the roof, the roof is going to have to be slanted this way. You know, have the tiny house go long ways and then have it right up. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see, but I've got plenty of space to do that. And the drive, this part of the drive is almost always sunny. Um, this area over here gets a lot of sun. So maybe I can put the garden or part of the garden over here once I clean up all that junk. Who knows? But I don't know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Shabby little building, but I can do something with it. I can definitely do something with that. So guys, yep, this is my new property. Um, it's got some work to do, but I'm going to be able to live on it a lot more comfortably than the other one. It's going to be away from, you know, the people that I initially met when I got down here, which is going to be kind of weird. I'll feel a little isolated. <laughs> but um, I've already introduced myself to a couple of the neighbors, and they seem pretty nice. Um, so this is it, guys. This is my new property. Hopefully I'll be able to build a homestead here. I do know that at least one of my neighbors has a chicken or a rooster because I heard it this morning. It doesn't have as nice of a cock-a-doodle-doo as Rudy does, though. Rudy had the most perfect, perfect cock-a-doodle-doo. Every morning, he'd be by my window, like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, waking me up. So I kind of miss that. But um, anyhow, I think I'm going to be able to really work with this really, really well. I'm going to need plenty of advice on what to do, where to put things. So, I don't know. I think this is the actual beginning of my homesteading journey. So here, let me get some pictures of the tiny house that I want. It's going to be very basic. This is a photo of the cabin that I want. It is a basic Dirksen cabin and it's unfinished on the inside. In fact, I want the color to be pretty much this. I think they call it honey gold. And the roof, I want it, yeah, it's going to be a metal roof because I'm going to definitely want to build a water catchment system. Um, the color that they have on that. I think it may be hunter green. I like that. I like the natural color trim on it. So I decided on this model instead of the lofted barn cabin. You know, you can put the um, like a bed up in the loft, but the ceiling is so high, it's going to be harder to heat. And plus, as I grow older, it's going to be harder for me to like climb up onto something to get into bed. And um, so this is basic, very simple. I'm looking at a width of between 12 and 14 feet and the length between 20 and 24 feet. I'm really not sure. I don't want it to be too terribly huge, but um, you know, because it's gonna be harder to heat, harder to keep cool. So I figure keep it small, keep it simple, and then it will work out much, much better for me. Now, 
um, I will have to get this financed. They have easy financing terms. I wish that I had the money just to get it, you know, right up front so I don't have to go into debt. But you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that. So I will be able to make the payments, especially since my new lot fee is so much cheaper. And um, you know what? I like the look of these little cabins. So yeah, this is what I'm going to get. I'll end this video with a beautiful picture of my backyard. Isn't it lovely? Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.